Hey YouTube, welcome back to Allie Parker's World. I'm Allie Parker. So we're going to continue on the BuzzFeed journey of bookish quizzes. So this one is called, how many of the top 100 books of all time have you actually read? So that scares me a little bit because I don't think I'm going to do very good at this, but we never know. So this one is just like the some of the other ones from before, some of the first ones. I just pick which ones I've read. So I'll read them all and tell you if I read them or not. So Don Quinto by Miguel D. Servants. And I'm very sorry if I mispronounce an author's name because I'm terrible with pronunciation, as you can tell. I have heard of that book, but I don't believe that I've actually read it. Then Alice Adventures in Wonderland. By Lewis Carroll and that was the second book of 2020 that I've read all the way through so I just read that for the first time like a week ago the adventures of Huckleberry Finn by Mark Twain I feel like I've read that one but it's been a very long time so I wouldn't mind rereading that the adventures of Tom Sawyer by Mark Twain I have the audiobook of that one, but I have not read it yet. Treasure Island by Robert Louis Stevenson. I have not read that one either. I wouldn't mind reading that one, though. Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. Okay. I own this book. I own Jane Austen's, like, her four biggest ones. Pride and Prejudice, Emma, and two other ones are in this big, huge book that I own. Which means that I should read it, because I haven't. <clears throat> Wuthering Heights by Emily Bronte. I have the audiobook of that one, and I have not read it yet. I'm not doing so good so far. Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte. I... I haven't read that one either. Honestly, I haven't really liked classics, but I want to get more into them. Um, sometimes it's the language. It's harder to understand. That's why I'm thinking if I get a bunch of audiobooks of classics that I'll like it. And sometimes it's just I can't get into them. So there's not going to be very many of these that I've read. I can tell you that almost for sure. Like, I, I want to read most of them, if not all of them, but I'm working on it. Moby Dick by Herman Melvin. Mm -mm. The Scarlet Letter. Nope. Gulliver's Travels by Jonathan Swift. Hey, there's one I've actually read. Yay! I'm making a comeback. Kinda. The Pilgrim's Progress. Nope. A Christmas Carol. I've read A Christmas Carol. By Charles Dickens. David Copperfield by Charles Dickens. I don't think I've read that one. A Tale of Two Cities by Charles Dickens. I have read, though. Little Women. I've read that one. Yay. Great Expectations. I have read Great Expectations, but I would love to get it again so I can reread it. The Hobbit. I read in high school. Frankenstein is one that I want to read, but I have not read yet. Oliver Twist. I feel like I read that in high school as well. Uncle Tom's Cabin. I read in college. Crime and Punishment. I don't believe I've read. Madame Boivar. Nope. The Return of the King. Nope. Dracula. Actually, I did read Dracula, and that was pretty recently, too. The Three Musketeers I read a while ago. I want to say the end of middle school. Maybe it was high school. It is a while ago, though. Brave New World I've read. War and Peace. Oh, I really want to read War and Peace, but I haven't yet. Um, to Kill a Mockingbird I read a long time ago, but most of the classics that I've read, I read them so long ago that I would love to reread them. 
just because it's been so long. The Wizard of Oz. I've actually never read The Wizard of Oz. Less m me miserable. Ah, uh, that one, that one. I can't say it. Sorry, guys. I suck. I know. The Secret Garden. I read that a while back. And then Animal Farm. I've read. The Great Gatsby. I've read. The Little Prince. I want to read, but I haven't. Call of the Wild. I actually own Call of the Wild, but I have not read it, of course, you know. 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. I've actually heard of that one, but again, haven't read it. Anna Katrina by Leo Taltsy. Don't even know what that one is, to be honest. The Wind in the Willows. Nope. Then, these are some more of my choices. The Picture of Dorian Gray by Oscar Wilde. I have that on um, audiobook as well, so I am hoping to get to it sometime this year, but no promises. The Grapes of Wrath. Ooh, I read that a very long time ago. Sense and Sensibility. I told you I haven't read anything Jane Austen. I want to, but I haven't yet. The Last of the Monarchs. Test of the Uberty Ubervilles by Thomas Hardy. That one right there. Yeah, I haven't read that. Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. That's a classic. Yeah, I read the first one. Heidi by uh, Joanne Spiral. Nope. Ulysses. I did read Ulysses for high school. It was in mythology class. The Complete Sherlock Holmes. I would like to read Sherlock Holmes, but no, I haven't. The Count of Monte Cristo. I have read. The Old Man and the Sea. Nope. Ooh, The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. That was one of my favorites when I was a kid, so I have read that one. The Hunchback of Notre Dame. I have not read, but I would be interested in. Pinocchio. I have not read. Nope. In shame. Um, I mean, I know the story of Pinocchio, but I've never read it. 100 Years of Solitude. Nope. Ivanhoe. The Red Badge of Courage. Nope. And of Green Gables. I have not read, but I have it on audiobook, so hopefully can make that happen. Black Beauty. I have read. Peter Pan, I just bought a copy of Peter Pan, but I have not read it yet. A Farewell to Arms, nope. The House of the Seven Gables, nope. Lord of the Flies, I have read, I'm glad to say. The Prince and the Pauper by Mark Twain, I actually feel like I have read that one. Oh, we got so many more left, you guys. All right. A Portrait of the Artist as a Young Man. Nope. Lord Jim. Nope. Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. Nope. The Red and the Black. The Stranger. The Trial. The Trial by Franz Kafka. I have read that one. I think it was, I had to read it for a class. Leader Chatler's Lover, Kidnapped, The Adventures of David Boffler, The Catcher in the Rye, I read a very long time ago, Fahrenheit 451 is one of my favorite classics. I actually want to buy a copy of it so I can read it whenever I want. Vanity Fair, A Journey to the Center of the Earth, I haven't read those. Let's see, those are one that are coming up. Um, All Quiet on the Western Front, Gone with the Wind. I actually feel like I have read that one, but again, it's been a long time. My Anoita by Wellia Ketcher. I believe I've read that one. Of Mice and Men, I have read for sure. The Vicar of Wakerfield, 
Nope. A Connecticut Yankee in King Arthur's Court. White Fang. I own White Fang, but I haven't read it yet. Fathers and Sons by Ivan something. Dr. Zigavago. Yeah, no, I haven't read that. 1984 I have read The Jungle by Uptown Sinclair. Nope. The Da Vinci Code I actually own and I want to read it sometime. Eventually I'll get to it. Jane Austen Purasian. 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 Um, I, I actually have read that one. So I have read one Jane Austen book. Then Jane Austen Mansfield Park. Candid, For Him the Bell Tools, Far From the Meeting Crowd, The Fellowship of the Ring, The Return of the Native, Sons and Lovers, Charlotte's Web by E.B. White, I have read that one, The Swiss Family, Bleak House, alright, show me my results, they're gonna be bad, I know, it's okay. You checked 34 out of 100 on the list. Wow, you've read a ton of these. You're either an English major, which I was in um, community college when I got my associate's degree, or you just love the classics. Either way, I'm impressed. You checked more than 81% of quiz takers. Oh, so I actually didn't do that bad. I thought that I would be, like, really low. I mean, 34 out of 100, I want to make that number go up a little bit. But I've read a few more classics than I thought. Well, thank you for taking another BuzzFeed quiz with me. I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!